Hey, what's going on, guys? My cats have decided to take up residence mm -hmm. on my table. Yeah. Back here today, this is not a mystery box video. I actually ordered this rifle. So I've been wanting a uh, DMR for a while, a semi-automatic AEG that shoots 500 feet per second, right? So that's the field limits at pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Um, so I bought this specifically because it mimics a real DMR. There's not too many 308 AR platform DMRs out there. And I did not want to do an SR25. Uh, SR25s are cool and everything, the 2.5 gearbox and all that stuff, like it's cool. Um, I bought this specifically, so we're going to open it up and see what we got. Let's dig in. So this thing is super long as you can tell already. So what I want to say about this, so I went on Evike and I purchased this and they sent me a used, used gun. When I say used replica, I mean like this thing, the tags were ripped off of it, the book that comes inside of it wasn't in there. Uh, the box, like the styrofoam inside was like melted down from nine times that people have been messing with it. Like the, All the screws were stripped out on it, like someone had this thing for a while. So I don't know what, where that happened, what came from it, but I was pretty upset. So I emailed Evike, uh, their RMA or whatever, and I got a hold of them and uh, told them, hey, this thing is obviously used. I want to send it back, and I want a, a new replica. That's what I paid for, and this thing, like I said, wasn't cheap. So they were like, send pictures. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I took pictures of everything. I'll throw them up uh, on here and show you what they look like. But it was just ridiculous. Like, everything stripped out. You could tell someone had taken the whole gearbox apart. Like, I, it amazed me that they didn't see this, right? Um, so after three weeks of dealing with that, I finally got the new one in. Yes, they fixed it, did everything cool, um, put, put a new one in there, but it did take a while. Um, and it's just annoying. Anyway, so here it is. This is the G&G TR-16 MBR-308 SR. Yes. Sunglasses. Is awesome. Okay, so as you can probably tell by now, this is a 416 DMR replica. It's not really marketed like that, but that's basically what it is. And it even comes with this 308 style mag right here. This thing is beyond sexy. Look at it. Yeah. Yes. Everything's ambidextrous, which is nice. On um, the selector switch, it only goes to three positions. The three positions are all within 90 degrees. Um, it's really cool. I'm going to be disabling full auto on it. So I'm at, I'm at like kind of an impasse with Airsoft DMRs. The problem I have with it is that if you build a 500 FPS gun, yeah, you're going to have a 100 foot minimum gauge distance, but you can just sit there and hammer the trigger over and over and over again. So I want to make this a little more realistic. So I was going to put a Spectre MOSFET that I have sitting around in it where I could put the delay for the trigger. Um, but the GNZ comes with a MOSFET and electronic trigger unit. And it actually has last round cutoff, which I really, really like. So these um, mags here are only 40 rounds. So 40 rounds is, I mean, arguably a lot, but compared to like a 200 round mid cap, because I only play with about 100 round mid caps as it is. So 40 round mid cap, um, the rail's really nice. All the detailing is really, really good. The only problem I have is there's a little bit of rail wobble. You can see that, I don't like that at all. That's bad. Yeah, so we'll have to put a spacer in here, and that's, so that's not a deal breaker, not that big of a deal, but is kind of annoying considering the price of this, because I think it was close to $400. That amount of money for something I expected that not to even be a thing. Oh my gosh, so, did you see that? They're going to ammunition, bro. Yeah, they're fake. I want to see those fake bullets. So G&G, &G, and they have the big followers, so it will, follow, it will fire every single uh, round in this thing, no problem. Yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, yeah, so it comes with the fake rounds in there and everything. I'm not a huge aesthetic person when it comes to that, but I mean, it is kind of cool. Yeah, I wish you could take those out. So I'm going to be doing a DMR build with this. I already have a Lalax barrel that I'm going to put into it. Uh, obviously, heavier spring. I got a motor on the way. Um, and then I'm going to reshim, do all the stuff I do to, to the gearbox. Uh, the only thing I, that's annoying is that I cannot put a new MOSFET in it because I will lose the last round cutoff. And I really like the last round cutoff. Uh, it's really, really awesome. I really like the jet core in there. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I could just throw a 500 FPS spring in the back and shoot this thing until it breaks. And it would probably be, it'd probably take a bit, because um, I understand this is pretty heavy built. And I think out of the box it performs really well. But yeah, I do have some things I'm going to do to it. Uh, tight bore barrel being number one. I'm going to put a new bucky in, fix the air seal. Uh, I think I'm going to use the uh, Maple Leaf MR Hop, I believe it's called. 
Um, so I'm going to do that. It's like a fake R hop where you don't put the patch on. It's just a bucking and everything. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and then motor. So I'm going to beast this thing out. And then I've got a nasty scope to put on it. Hand me that right nasty there. Nasty scope. All right, so I went on all Amazon. Cause you know me. I love my Amazon. Amazon. And I got this guy, which is a red, blue, and green. Okay, so it's a 6x24x50. I mean, absolutely just completely ridiculous. Yes. However, this thing, I mean, it's got lockable knobs. It's got to adjust for the yardage. Uh, it this is. is absolutely overkill, 100%. This is actually a sunshade right here, and then it has the flip-ups. Yeah. Um, and it actually came with a kill flash and everything. So this thing is is ready to rock. Probably completely overkill, but I think it'll be really cool on there. Yeah. And uh, you'll be able, I'll be able to look. I'll be able to look look at everything, is no a, matter how far. It is a beast. This thing, it's the size of like three, three um, replicas. I'm gonna throw this on here real quick just to give you a little preview. Okay, so this is not positioned correctly. It just looks ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you okay? I see this? Hold on, hold on. It is like okay, so you can get a picture of that. It's going to be an absolute beast. I mean, it just looks intimidating. Like I said, I'm not big on aesthetics, but this uh, scope looks absolutely ridiculously awesome on this thing. And it's got crazy good eye relief. I mean, like, this is a really well, and it's it wasn't too much. It was less than, like, 150. So it's for airsoft, so I don't have to worry about holding zero, but um, it was advertised as, like, a real actual scope. Yes. And, like, the best part is... I can barely hold the thing because it's so huge. Yeah, Seth, this is definitely not a Seth weapon. This is uh, absolutely too big to be a Seth weapon. I'm more of a this bad boy right here. Yeah, pistol or his uh, little little shorty M4 that mm -hmm. I that I made for him. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So you or can see. Or scorpion. Oh yeah, the scorpion Evo. He plays really well with that. Yeah. And uh, it's illuminated and everything. I'll put the uh, link in the description so you can check it out. But yeah, this thing is going to be an absolute monster when I get through with it. Um, this thing right here is an absolute monster as well. That's the ICS uh, one that I built, and it is nasty. I mean, like, the spring, I, the, the compression's so good, which doesn't even make any sense. The spring I put in it was supposed to shoot 450, and it shoots 475. Hey. So I don't even understand how that's possible. So I'm going to get this thing up to shape, and then, oh yeah. And I got a run cam coming, so I'm going to put it on here, and uh, a scope cam, that way you can see what's going on. Oh yeah. Also, just a shout out to my friends because they want me to say their names on one of the videos. Aiden and Mario. Yeah, they're some of my good friends. What the heck, dude? We talked about this. We're filming. Come on, video. don't show your cheeks now. Come on. Never show your cheeks. Cat on button us. All right, come on. We'll, we'll have a let whole go. entire hey, like toy. Let go of the rifle. Let go of the rifle. Dad, we cannot let him get that type of technology. I gotta be careful, man. This cat. He might be trying to gank my rifles. So you've probably seen my Airsoft 101 series. I got soldering and I got barrels, buckings, and hop-ups up. Um, I've done really basic stuff in there. Um, I'm trying to work on something a little more advanced. When I get into the internal workings of the gearbox, it's probably going to be uh, on this rifle right here. Um, so I'm going to open it up and show you all the polishing and different things that I do. Because uh, like I said, a lot of little things add up to big things, right? But we'll get to that at a later video series. Yeah. Got anything, Seth? I'd, I'd like to say like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and come back for our next video. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Styrofoam. And these weren't in the other one either. Huh, so you I'm, know it was used. Guess what? Yeah, the condition of this box and how inside of it was so different that I, it blew my mind at how different it looked. That's why I knew instantly the other one had been used. All right. So thanks for stopping by the channel, and we will see you next time.